Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Art and Outdoor Life here with John. I hope that you're having a great day, a good morning, great evening, wherever you are. And I hope that you enjoy this video. Thank you for viewing. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Okay, so I'm on 9 by 12 paper, watercolor paper. And with my brush, I'm using dirty water. In other words, uh, just, you know, after dipping your brushes in, uh, using them in the water, and it's all dirty, okay? No big deal. Now, I have my paper set at about two inches or three inches uh, standing up from the very top, and it's all flat. So everything is flat. Now, if you notice, um, the part of the paper that I have not used, that I did not wet, uh, the water won't go there. It will not go there in watercolor painting. Okay? Using my spray bottle there. I'm using ultramarine blue. And it's very much wetted down. I wetted it down very much. Okay. So with the hake brush, I'm just tapping along. Okay. It, again, this is very flat. Very flat with just a little bit, just a little bit of an angle. Like. Two or three inches, you know, above the table. And I'm using the spray bottle continuously here to get those natural watercolor effects. Now with the small hake brush, or medium hake brush, I'm using it like, almost like a dry brush. Okay, so what I have on the side here is I have a washcloth, and that's where I, you know, I wipe my paint brushes off on. So I'm just kind of going around here, and by the way, um, thank you guys for viewing, and I I'm gonna say this for the first time. And I have to. Um, I live on a fix, fixed income. And yes, I do these for uh, my anxiety. And I do these paintings for to help everybody I can. And try to encourage other people. And also inspire other people. Um, I don't make any money off of YouTube or anywhere else. However, what I'm going to be doing is... I'm, I will be putting a P.O. Box number. So if you want to donate... Uh, any kind of material for me to try or just to help me out. In, um, in the coming videos, I will have that. Because these do get expensive. Anyways, I'm using burnt umber here. Or burnt sienna. My apologies here. Um... The purple that you see is part of my own Payne's Gray. And if you haven't seen any videos on how I make my own Payne's Gray, um, you can look at my videos. Because my own Payne's Gray, I've never bought a tube of Payne's Gray. Never. And... So, sometimes they turn out more purple, sometimes they turn out more blue, sometimes, you know, different colors. Anyways, 
So I'm using uh, the Hake brush here. And, you know, for a long time, when I do these size paintings, I have them painted, I, I paint them at a, a very a pretty steep level. In this case, I'm using a lot of water, and that's what, one of the reasons why you see me tapping there. It's one of the reasons. Um, because when you tap it, when it's wet, you know, uh, the, the pigment kind of goes off, kind of like a cloud. So with some sap green, I'm kind of adding in here. And I am, I'm going back and forth with the medium hake and the large hake brush. And these are from imagination, like all of my paintings. Um, and here, coming over yellow ochre, I'm putting in some uh, burnt sienna. I'm not using no white in this video, except for the paper. And by very, barely, you know, very, very uh, gently touching the paper with the very tip of the brush. Now you can see some of the, the leaf, some of the grass some of the land okay and I have to say I want to say thank you everybody I really appreciate it all your support and everything but yes I am going to be putting a, a P.O. box number in the coming months just you know for any of those who Anybody who wants to help me. Uh, only for art supplies. That's it. Nothing else. So. Um, the real cool thing about this is. Look. It just very gentle touches. When the paper is so wet like this. Like I really wetted the paper. Um, I'm touching it lightly here and there. I'm putting in different colors. I'm putting in greens. I'm putting in uh, yellow ochre. Uh, the paint's gray that I make on my own. Um, and what you're going to get, you do it very gently. And look at that. Look at that. Anybody could do this. You can do this. Okay. I do it for my PTSD and my anxiety disorders. Okay. But using different sides of these brushes, these hake brushes, Ron Ranson hake brush. Um, okay. I'm... Right now, I thought maybe I could make a shadow, uh, a reflection, but it didn't work. It didn't work. And that's okay. It's okay. But just what I did there, you know, and then I had a little bit of uh, crimson red light. Yeah, it was... I'm part of my brush. And that's okay. Now, here I am with the darker ultramarine blue. And the darker it is, it pushes everything backwards. It pushes everything back. The dark pushes everything back. Okay. Now... Sometimes you want to have it, OK, 
okay, when we look at things, if we were looking in real life, uh, sometimes the things that are closest to us are very bright, okay? So it just depends on how you want to do it. So basically I'm, I'm tapping it very gently because I know that the paper is very wet. This is wet on wet and fast and loose. Fast and loose meaning that it's pretty much a la prima. You're just sitting there. You do it in one take. You're not doing two or three or four washes. This is the wash. The wash is the painting. One wash. That's fast and loose. Okay. There's no drying time here. So. And I'm having fun with this. Okay. Now. There's the darker part of the ultramarine blue. And as you could see, I'm creating, I'm directing the hills to where, you know, they're coming downwards. And, you know, D and I'm, also, you put them up front. Put a little bit of dark up front, too, and it gives it uh, a nice texture, but it also gives it some insight about where you are, what you're viewing. Now, you can use any colors that you want. Um, you, can, you, you can do these in a tonal, tonalistic painting. For example, you could do it in one painting, one paint. Um, I suggest looking at uh, Andrew Broussard, Broussard, and he does paintings in one color only, and they are awesome. He has a new book out, too. And you can also look at uh, Joe Menza art. You can look at a lot of people. You can, uh, there, there are tons of artists out there. Remember, every painting should be relaxing. Um, you don't paint because you want to be perfect. You paint to let let your energy go, let everything go. I'm using uh, part of my utility knife. I, I don't call them that, but just to scrape, barely scrape there instead of using a plastic card. And... Um, I encourage everybody, though, yeah, you know, paint, you know, it's very healthy, it's good for you, I want to wish you a good day, a good evening, and a good morning, whenever you're watching this, I really appreciate it, guys, I really, really do, sincerely yours. John. There's the palette I used. I didn't use every paint on it. 